If we've learned anything from the events of the past few years, at least here in the automotive aftermarket, it's that consumers love their vehicles and they love accessorizing them. According to the 2022 SEMA market report, U.S. consumers spent nearly $51 billion on accessorizing and modifying their vehicles in 2021, an all-time high for the industry. By 2025, SEMA currently projects that the number will hit $58.7 billion. Sales of lighting accessories totaled nearly $2.4 billion in 2021, according to the report. If you're not already in this category, we're here to help shed some light on a few sales ideas. LED light bars are an accessory that have become very popular in recent years, especially with Jeep owners. If you have a customer who's interested in putting on light bars, here are a couple of tips you can offer them. First, tell them to look for a light bar that will hold up to high pressure water and impacts. Philips Altanon Drive LED light bars have Lexan light covers that are fully sealed with a single piece aluminum body to keep water out. The design uses no screws in the faceplate because screw holes can be a leak point when you're driving at high speed in the rain. Make sure that the wiring harness also is designed to keep the water out. The wiring harnesses that Philips offers for its Altanon Drive light bars use DT connectors to keep connections dry and avoid corrosion and shorts. Likewise, the mounting hardware should be designed to stand up to the elements and off-road driving. Stay away from soft cast metal mounting brackets. They're brittle and can break easily. This light bar uses heavy gauge stainless steel brackets that will last for years without breaking, rusting, or corroding. When your customer is mounting the lights, they should always disconnect the battery and always make sure they're going into something rigid like the metal portion of the bumper. Mounting into a plastic fascia or sheet metal surface can result in a beam that shakes up and down when the vehicle is moving. Also, make sure your customer chooses a light bar that won't create electromagnetic interference. There are a lot of electronics packed into these LED devices, and some light bars can actually interfere with other vehicle functions. Look for a brand that calls out the fact that its light bars won't create electrical interference. Finally, your customer is probably looking for lots of light, but make sure when they're reading all the light output specs, they're comparing apples to apples. Some light output is measured in lumens, while others might use raw lumens. When they look at the beam length, tell them to look for how many lumens the beam length claim is based on. Is it based on one lumen, a quarter lumen, or something else? If the beam length specs don't include lumens, they can't make an accurate comparison of performance. You also can suggest that they look for a light bar with LEDs that have an optical lens built into them, as this one does. The lens puts more of the light output where you need it, directly out in front of the vehicle. Those are a few tips for recommending and installing light bars. We hope you found it enlightening. Thanks for watching.